Connected Canadians. Connecting older adults with technology, training and support. I had the chance and the pleasure now to meet Connected Canadians on many occasions, Montfort, Lacoste, many buildings of our community housing. More in the East End now, uh, I think that you're just taking over OCH as we speak, and which is great because what you bring, it's really uh, something special to break isolation. Uh, for the residents of Ottawa Community Housing to be part of the digital economy. I've had uh, over a decade of experience working as an interpreter and translator, mainly between Mandarin Chinese and English. When I read about the existence of, of your organization, I, I felt that it's a great idea. Seeing someone happy, seeing you very happy to receive uh, help, I think that's something I cannot value actually. So that's one of the the greatest thing I expect to gain from from this uh, involvement. Oh no, c'est Madeleine. J'ai 97 ans. Puis c'est un bon service que vous nous donnez. I was looking for an organization uh, where I could uh, apply my skills and my and, and my uh, and, and my experience uh, in, uh, specifically in helping people with technology especially seniors this is the whole demographic of our population that's been sort of like left behind with technology i'm 67 years old i had no technology before connected canadians this is my first i technological device ever I get calls all the time from seniors saying, I'm, I'm afraid of this, I'm intimidated by this, it scares me, and um, I don't want to do it, but I have to because I, I speak to or see no one now. So uh, it's, it's pretty cool to see it all kind of happen. I have been trying to find a way to virtually present my in-person PowerPoint presentations to um, the National Gallery Docents Group and to the seniors residence groups uh, that I deal with. I have to feel confident enough. I can't be worrying about the technology if I'm trying to tell you the interior structure of a Romanesque cathedral. I can see from her face that she is feeling more confident and she's expressing in a, in a very like high way. So in, in that case, uh, it makes me feel that she is more able to explain herself and express herself right now. So that's the most rewarding part of this whole experience. But then just like going through the training uh, and then like having your first client and then your second client and kind of like as it builds up, you start to, you start to, it really nails home, I guess, uh, how important this work is and how much more it means to them. First class, I struggle. I ask him lots of questions, then I practice and the next class, I do it again with him, so he sees me that I'm doing it properly, and which helps me a lot. I send him my Zooms too sometimes to him to say whether I've done the right thing. It's when they can learn to Zoom. It's when the email, like when they press send, and then something actually shows up in somebody else's inbox. Like, it's amazing how happy that makes them feel. So because I knew Zoom, I Zoomed them to have my sister and my sister-in-law with us and we could all see them. So, you know, it was pretty spectacular to be able to do this. This is Zoom and Apple, it's Microsoft and your iPhone and your iPad and all, of, all the toys. It's been really interesting yeah, to see the growth and especially with the most recent client I've gotten, she um, has, is paralyzed on one side, blind in one eye and has some trouble speaking. But she's so, she's so eager to learn and she's so prepared to work around what's holding her back. With every uh, lesson I got, it became easier and I wasn't as nervous about it. I think it's an excellent idea if you need information. So I think it's, it's perfect. We got them on FaceTime. They learned how to take a picture and send emails to their family who lived in a different country just to learn maps on the iPad. And he was very excited that he could like take the iPad to the park and have directions. So just little things. Where they can't figure it out, but you, you know, we come along and, and, and we help them out so, so easily and so pleasantly. 
And typically we will have a great big event, a week long events taking place here in the organization. And we couldn't do that this year. And it wasn't on my priority list at all, but thanks to the vision of, uh, of our director and um, the support of Connected Canadians, we actually could still have an event virtually with our volunteers. Um, so that was when my eyes were opened with um, what Connected Canadians is and can do. These guys are everywhere. And we had that same, that whole same mantra of getting seniors connected. So for me, it was a no brainer. In order to continue Connected Canadians' mission of teaching seniors now remotely, I'm going to be able to do um, courses online. I'm going to be able to help my grandchildren because this COVID has affected their school years too. So I'm going to be able to understand what they're going through and help them through the process too, because it might end up becoming intimidating for them too, or frustrating, you know? So it's just that extra little edge that I might be able to have to help them. It's shown us at the Old Forge a new way that we can do programming with our clients, um, something that we're hoping to continue even, even past this COVID situation. That way, you know, we can offer more choices uh, to our clients and, uh, and work within their... So with this team and connecting with seniors, you get that feedback right away. And so in a sense, we are pioneers. And I think the pandemic has really changed the the shape of Connected Canadians. The incredible sense of joy that comes afterward is very similar to a lot of these interactions. We're making friends with these people like this, you know, the relationship building and, and networking. Being able to teach them something that I know a little bit about is, uh, yeah, really rewarding. And now it's, it's virtual. And that just adds a whole layer that was never expected before. 